Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why the narcissist wants to hurt you as much as possible. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click on notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. This is why the narcissist wants to hurt you as much as possible. The more that you try to love the narcissist, the more they will hate you. They will act insulting and disrespectful towards you. They will express deep hatred and disapproval for you. And it will often be characterized by a vulgar and pretentious display. Where they are showy, conspicuous, obtrusive and flamboyant especially towards any form of playful sexual attraction. And they will find pleasure only if they had been the cause of the withdrawal of such fancies. To where you feel like you have made a foolish act or decision. Because that then regulates their emotions. It makes them feel powerful. As though they have the ability to do anything. And from their disapproval and refusal of your flirtation or sexual advances... It then provides them with sexual gratification from the use of their own body and imagination. It is a form of sexual activity involving one person because it is without association with another person. It is obtained solely through the stimulation of oneself or one's own body. So essentially, they are engaged in a masturbatory activity over a shared fantasy of themselves, in which you have become an unwilling participant, which to them is far better than sex with anyone could ever be, because it is a defence against their own shame, against their feelings of humiliation and distress caused by the consciousness of wrong and foolish behaviour, which they are projecting onto you through embarrassing you, because they envy you. They decide to have your qualities, possessions or other desirable attributes. So their shame and envy causes them to want to destroy you, even while destroying themselves in the process. They are sexually aroused solely by humiliating and disrespecting people, or by spoiling them so that they are less beautiful and pure, such as by violating their chastity. Whether this is something that the victim agrees to, or if they have to use force and threats to persuade the victim to do something that they are unwilling to do. But this actually has nothing to do with the victim. The narcissist is seeking sexual gratification obtained solely through the stimulation of themselves and their own body. So it is sexual activity involving only one participant. And the act climaxes in masturbation, so it's not really sex. It's just the recognition and the assertion of one's existence and the value of their individual self. It's a tactic exhibited to gain an advantage over the victim to increase their power and influence. It's a form of self-stimulation by exercising complete power over the victim. It's pure dominance and complete superiority where their own feelings of shame and envy are directed at the victim as a form of splitting, to where they then perceive themselves as all good, because they project the bad parts of themselves, such as the shame, guilt, self-hatred and aggression, onto the victim, which then causes the narcissist to become unblemished, spotless, pure and impeccable, so that they then feel very attractive to themselves as a result of the sexual gratification obtained solely through self-stimulation. And it's why, upon trying to flirt with a narcissist, they will establish their sense of own superiority through belittling and degrading you. They will act rude and dismissive. And the only thing they will value about you is your state of confusion, your inability to understand or explain something to where you're so disoriented that your head spins. 
because they will find great enjoyment in the shock, distress or grief that they have caused to you. They will find pleasure in your pain, hurt, suffering and torment. And they will hope that it won't go away for a while. Because it produces a pleasant and a positive experience for the narcissist. So they will happily exchange good sex, intimacy, closeness and togetherness for a few moments of godlike power. Because many narcissists are sadistic. They derive pleasure from inflicting pain, suffering and humiliation on other people. They get off on breaking people's hearts and causing them intense emotional stress, frustration, sadness or even anger. Because it makes them feel powerful when they can disturb your mind and when they can make you feel uncomfortable. Which is why they will criticise and humiliate you often on camera or even in public, if they can get away with it. And they will cut you down with their words. No matter who you may be, even if you're a business owner, doctor or a lawyer, and you have friends and family, they don't care. They will take any opportunity because your pain is their sustenance. It's their narcissistic supply. So they don't care if it provokes you or if it makes people hate them or even if it prevents their own success or development because in their minds it's worth the sacrifice. They hurt you because it's pleasurable for them. It's amusing and enjoyable. They are gratified by torturing people. Your pain is their gratification even though they may be denying their own interests and needs. Because your pain and frustration is far more satisfying to them than anything you could do for them. The desire to hurt another person involves the psychological, psychological aspects of the sexual impulse. It relates to the mental, emotional and behavioural aspects of sexual development to the central element of their sexual drive. It's a form of escapism. It provides them with a feeling of power in a situation where they would normally feel powerless. And it allows them to release their suppressed desires through harming a physical representation of their sexual fantasies. When a person seeks to harm another person, it is a form of sexual gratification solely through the stimulation of oneself. They empower themselves and they become more attracted to themselves by torturing and tormenting other people. It makes them feel irresistible. And that's really all that matters to the narcissist. They will sacrifice their own interests and needs and even destroy themselves in the process if it means that they can obtain the benefits of the sadistic activity because it's much greater than anything other people could have to offer. It's much more intense than sex and it's more meaningful than being admired or making money. They will sacrifice it all just to hurt other people because it provides them with a sense of balance and stability it reduces their anxiety, which is extremely difficult to understand and imagine because it's so bizarre and unfamiliar, but it's how they're wired. When other people fall apart, they feel healthy. Other people's pain is the reason for why they do what they do. The moment they reject, humiliate, degrade and inflict pain on you, they begin to feel like a god. They feel wonderful beautiful and good, but they also feel paranoid because they know that they are doing something wrong. So they anticipate an adverse response because they don't expect you to take it lightly, but they would do anything. They would sacrifice everything and everyone just for one moment of feeling like they have the ability to tear you apart and they may see it as a form of art as an activity of imaginative or creative self-expression 
to where they may be visionary, inspired, insightful, inventive and resourceful. Their desire to hurt people is not right or natural, and therefore it is not able to be understood, because it's not human. But it is capable of being understood. Once you understand that they find rejecting and humiliating people to be a pleasurable and gratifying activity. Because other people's pain and humiliation provides evidence to them of their all-powerfulness. It's a thrilling experience of transforming them into a god or an angel. It supports their grandiosity which is the driving force behind their shared fantasy, where they become one with their victim. They fuse with you to form a new singular entity and they identify their pleasure with your pain. Rather than the avoidance of pain or the treatment of pain, and sometimes they may even identify their own pain as gratifying because they are their own sexual objects. They are sexually attracted to themselves. So they may become their own victims, where they regard themselves as being of little worth and they seek to destroy themselves. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.